Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have another USB spectrum analyzer and uh, I have already a few types uh, before. I remember this one was one of my first video, video 20, and it was the LTD set 3544 megahertz. And this one is based on the ADF uh, 4351. Uh, so that means it goes from 35 megahertz up to 4.4 gigahertz. And these are usually around 30 euros, I think. And it actually works quite good. And it also has a tracking generator. So I like that I, I played with some uh, with some filters that you can see. So uh, I had the duplex filter from Diamond, I think. And uh, well, just check out the video if you're interested. But um, it starts at 35 megahertz. So that was a bit of a, of a pity if you want to measure below. And then I found this uh, Asa rod. And it starts at uh, half a megahertz and it go up to 140. And that is perfect because you just fill that gap that uh, ADF is uh, leaving there. And uh, this one is based on the SI5351. And a lot of people liked it. And it was after I made the video, I think there were only two left available in the AliExpress. And uh, so a lot of people were also disappointed, but I found another one. And uh, this is called the Sweeper. And uh, the Sweeper goes from uh, 10K up to 40 megahertz, so that is also enough. And these are around 900 still available. So, and I think they are also, if I remember correctly, around 35 euros or 40 dollars, I would think. And that is based on the AD9834, so the 9834. And uh, let's have a closer look, and it looks very, very, very similar to the other sweeper that goes up to 140. So, uh, yeah, let's have a closer look. And here we have them, uh, all three. Uh, if you if you watch my video of the Azeroth and really compare the, the two, the LTD set and the SIS 5351. So have a look at that video if you want to see that comparison. Now I'm just gonna show the differences between the, the SI 5351 and the AD9834. And as you can see, they look very, very, very similar. Um, the only thing is, I will zoom in later with the microscope. You can see it runs on a different uh, processor. And also, of course, the generator is, uh, is a little bit different. And the SI chip, I think, was very difficult to, to get. So the availability is a bit of a problem. But this uh, AD9834, is uh, is a lot better available, so that would be nice. Both of the boards look a lot like this other spectrum analyzer that is available, and I think that one is called the D6. But if you buy the D6, you really need to be careful to look at the specifications. The D6 is good, but sometimes, uh, yeah, on a Chinese website, Sometimes you have them with this processor, the AD9934, and sometimes it is with the ADF4351. And the original D6, I'm not even sure what processor that runs on or what, what uh, generator is in the generator chip. So uh, be aware, look really at the frequency specifications. Well, if we have a look at the microscope, um, this one, that is the, the Azeroth, the up to 140 megahertz, that one runs on the STM32F103C8D. The sweeper up to 40 megahertz uh, runs on an Atmel, the Atmega 8A. They still say it can run on the same uh, software, so uh, let's try that. Well, the boards look very, very similar. The only thing I already found and that I think is that, uh, that the input on the new one is on the other side. This is the, the older one. This is up to 140 megahertz. 
Here it says output here, it says out. And here it says in, then it goes to the import circuit, and then it goes here to the sensitivity part. And clearly here you have the output because here you have the sys chip. But here is the other way around. Here you have the generator chip, and it goes here. And here, and it says here look, with some kind of lambda sign, it says less than 10 dBm. And here is the same lambda sign. And here is also, because they put some shielding here, this is probably the input. So as you see, here is the output, but here it's the input. Okay, let me try something different right now. I have my webcam on the table so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, before I plug in, here is my USB cable. Before I plug in, I always check what COM port it's going to be. So I open the device manager and we go to ports. And now I see COM1 and the COM2. So when we connect the cable, here it is, COM3, and you see the device is blinking, so that is good. Then we can open the WinWT4, because the version 5 does work, it does communicate, but the output values uh, are not good, what I see. Um, just like the SIS5351, you need to multiply the frequency. So instead of doing one megahertz, you say, okay, we start at one megahertz, you type in 10 and 40, we go to 400, multiply by 10. And then we can do a scan. Well, we can see it is not receiving anything because it is all open. So what we can do, we can put a short connect that and do another scan and then you see that it works but as any spectrum analyzer you need to normalize it and especially for uh, this one because I use it for three devices this software so the best thing to do is now do a calibration first we go in the full range um, yeah, I think this one starts at 10k, so that is uh, 10, so uh, 1 megahertz, so that is then uh, 100k, okay, yeah, as you can see in the start, it is a bit, so yeah, it's not that good in the beginning. So this is 50k, so let's say we start at 50k then. But we can try to normalize this because, uh, so it says 10k, so it's 10, 1, 2, 3, one more. How does that look? Okay, so it is possible. Okay, then we go to the full range, that is 40 megahertz, 40 megahertz. that works okay now we're going to normalize it we go to a sweep we say channel 1 calibration logarithmic we need to put minus 40 so I'm going to do that I have here 30 plus 10 Okay, that's connected. Okay. Okay. Now it's processing. You can see we need to wait still. 
Okay, now it wants zero. We're gonna put zero db. Okay. Now it is processing. I want to save the data. Yes. And I'm going to save it in a name that I know what it is. So AD9834. And it was the sweeper. And the frequency was 10k to 40m. Uh, copy. Okay, we use the same name again. And as you can see, I also have here my ADF and the sys. Save. Okay, and now it is normalized. You can see. You can see here that it is selected as a channel. So we can do a, a test. Let's do a 10 megahertz bump pass. Let's see, this is output. So that goes to in right here. Output to this input here. single shot and here we see exactly in the 10 megahertz you need to multiply the filter works okay so we can zoom in on that a little bit so if we do here uh, 250 so to 25 megahertz So you can see it's a very nice filter. This will absolutely make sure you have no harmonics on your 10 megahertz. Well, we can also connect uh, it to the NWT5 version, but it does not necessarily belong with this hardware. So I put now 0 dB, and if I do a single you can see it is a really weird dip here and we can probably take that out when we try to normalize it but it just seems weird somehow we didn't see that in the other and if we do the full sweep you can see in the end also it is really weird right here so I, it is really not made for this uh, for this hardware but it does sort of work so even though this looks a little bit better you really need to stick to uh, the old version right here of course uh, this is without normalization you see it is already better and let's see what happens in the end there because We don't have that in the end there. No. Okay, that was a bit uh, messy. My computer crashed uh, halfway. I was able to fix it luckily. And uh, we could continue uh, testing it. And uh, I must say the sweeper is nice. And it's good because it is in stock and the uh, Azeroth was not. It works exactly the same. Also with the same uh, software as the other two spectrum analyzers. And uh, also like the Azeroth, like this one, you need to multiply the frequency by 10. And uh, you could see that very well when we did the bump pass filter for 10 megahertz. You could see that it just, yeah, just one zero and changed. So, uh, of course, I also need to build the casing, just like I did with this one. And, 
well, it will be exactly the same. It's a copy. So, uh, but then it's better protected. Well, as usual, I will put the item links in the description. I will also put a, a link to the software. So when you have it, you don't need to look for it. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time.